Hi, my name is Damien Flynn, MVP for System Center Cloud and Data Center Services. Welcome back to our recording series on the System Center 2012 Foundation Laying Series. And in this recording, we're going to take a look at the first of our System Center Core Components, Virtual Machine Manager 2012. Virtual Machine Manager 2012 requires a number of prerequisite tasks to be completed on our servers prior to the installation process. We'll begin this process on our domain controller where we configure both service accounts and security groups for our VMM environment. In our Active Directory domain controller, which we created at the very start of our foundation laying course, um, I've created some organizational units to host our service accounts. This is similar to what we've seen previously with both our SQL and our SharePoint environment. The first account I've created is a service account for the VMM service itself, and the second account I'm creating is an agent deployment service, which we will use a little later on uh, as we start configuring our environment. For the purpose of the lab, I am disabling uh, the functionality for password expiration on both of these accounts and then finally I'm creating a security group for the administrators of our VMM services. Initially I'm going to add both the service account for VMM and my own user account as the administrators which are members of this group. One of the fantastic new features available in VMM 2012 is high availability. And to achieve high availability, we require to create a special organizational unit within our Active Directory. To do this, we're going to utilize the ADSI tool. From there, I'm going to expand the system container, and I'm going to create a new container, which we're going to call SC. VMM. You can name this anything that suits yourself, but for the purpose of my lab, I'm going to identify this quite simply as an SC VMM container. From that container, I then open the properties and I assign security permissions so the administrators group, which I created a few moments ago, is given permissions to write and create objects within the container. This is important as during the installation process, the service account will need access to this new container. Before we're able to commence with the installation of VMM 2012, there are a number of prerequisites that are to be configured on our new server. The first of these is assigning the service account, which we will utilize for VMM, as a member of the local administrators group of the computer. The local administrators group is quite important as members of this group, including the service account, have full administration rights to VMM. We'll take a look at that a little bit later. As with previous versions of VMM, 2012 supports three different user interfaces. The console, PowerShell, and its built-in web portal. On our server, I'm going to install all three in a few moments. In order to support the web portal, however, before the installation begins, we must install and enable the Windows Web Server IIS role. After the role has been installed, we can proceed also to install the .NET Framework version 3.51, which for on Windows 2008 server is a feature. Next up on our pre-requirements list is the Microsoft Windows Automated Install Kit version 3.0. From here we'll install the image X utilities and components which VMM will utilize while managing its images and dealing with some of its newer advanced features including physical hosts or bare metal deployment services. After we've installed the AIK, we can proceed to install SQL Server's native client and also the SQL Server command line utilities. Together these two offer the functionality for VMM to communicate with our SQL Server. In addition, we have the option to also install the automated objects which could be used for our SQL analysis services later on. I'm not installing these initially, however I may come back a little later on and add those to this server as I prepare to enable the analysis functionality. With these in place, we can now move on to the actual installation of our Virtual Machine Manager 2012. 
As you can see, most of our work so far has been preparing the environment, while the actual installation, pretty much similar to our previous experiences, is actually quite simple. Launching the installer, we can go straight to the splash screen and from there into the main installation wizard, which offers us the choice of components we would like to utilize. As I referred to a few moments ago, I'm going to enable all of the components, including the self-service portal. Provide Microsoft your standard registration and agree with the terms and conditions, and we are ready to actually answer some of the more interesting uh, questions. The first of these is the name of the SQL server where we plan to actually host the databases. In our lab, we've already pre-configured SQL 2008 as the server we're going to use for our environment. So, providing on the configuration page, we can insert this detail. And after a few moments, assuming everything is OK, we have the ability to define our domain. Next, we offer up the service account which we created and its user password. And finally, we have the ability to insert the distributed key container which we created for our high available install. This piece you can skip if you don't plan to install a high available solution. And finally, if self-service portals is enabled, you need to define the name of the server which is running the SCVMM 2012 server. In this case, it's obviously our same machine as we're hosting all three components. So I'm simply providing the name of the SQL server and allowing the installation to proceed. Well, that's it. We've just completed the prerequisites and the installation for System Center 2012 Virtual Machine Manager, the first component in our new fabric. In the next video, we're going to take a much closer look at VMM 2012. But in the meantime, have fun installing and configuring your server and make sure to join me on the next series when we investigate the environment further. Thank you. Bye-bye.